Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel, and I'm now answering question number 14 from the June 2022 Cambridge um, 0580 IGCSE paper. This is paper 2, variant 1. And this question here is about a train which is passing through a station at a speed of 108 kilometers per hour. The length of the station is 120 meters and it takes seven seconds to completely pass through the station work out the length of the train so straight away there's a few issues in this question that we have to be very careful about and one is the units the speed is given in kilometers per hour the length of the station is given in meters and the time that it takes for the train to complete this journey is given in seconds so they are all incompatible with each other you have to be careful right so the first issue is to think about um you know the the situation where you have a train Let's say this is the, this whoops i'd like to use a rectangle so supposing you have the station that's the platform of the station and you have the train approaching the station okay so just say this is this this is the train and that is the station now when the train approaches the station okay it's gonna pass completely through the station all right so for it to be completely passed through the station then the whole of it has to leave so if you think about the distance that this train has to travel such that it completely passes through the station it is going to be the length of the station itself which is as we can see here this length here which they've told us is 120 meters and if you think about the train traveling through at that point when when it's traveled so when it's gone from here to there it's traveled 120 meters because the if you think about the big the 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 front of the train right at the front of the train by the time this reaches the end of the station, it's traveled 120 meters. But the train has not completely passed through the tunnel yet. For it to completely pass through the tunnel, you have to end up with a situation like this. That's where it's completely passed through the tunnel, or through the station, not the tunnel, the station. So we have this additional length, which is the length of the train, which is what we have to find. Okay, so this tra train has traveled this distance over here. All right, so this is x. I'm going to call it x for now. Now we know that the time it took for it to do that, from from for it to get from there to there, is seven seconds. All right, and we know also that the speed that it's traveling at is 108 kilometers per hour, a constant speed. So we know that speed equals distance over time. So therefore, distance is equal to speed times time. Now, as I mentioned here, we have a distance is traveled is 100 is 120 meters plus x. OK, and we know that the time it took was seven seconds. And we know that the speed is 108 kilometers per hour. Now, what I need to do is to use distance equals speed times time. So I've got to multiply the speed um, by the time and equate it to the distance. Now, because the speed is in kilometers per hour, what I think would be sensible for us to do is to express the distance in terms of kilometers and the time in terms of hours. So seven seconds would be seven over 60 squared hours. Okay, that would be um you know the the time in hours and the distance in terms of um you know kilometers well 120 meters in terms of kilometers is going to be 0 0.12 kilometers divided by a thousand that gives you 0 0.12 and let's just say x is in kilometers we'll just say x is in kilometers in the start so i can rewrite d as 0 0.12 plus x where x is in kilometers okay so that's 0 0.12 plus x that's the distance that this train has traveled so i can say that the distance is equal to the speed times the time so the distance is 0 0.12 plus x 
that's equal to the speed which is 108 times the time which is 7 over 60 squared now what's going to happen is my answer is going to come out now in um, kilometers okay this is all kilometers now so this is going to be 0 0.12 plus x equals and you're going to have 108 times 7 over 60 squared sum to my calculator 108 times 7 over 60 squared all right so that will give us 21 over 100 okay which is 0 0.21 let's write it as a decimal 0 0.21 be easy there so we can say x is equal to 0 0.21 minus 0 0.12 which is going to be I think 0 0.09 is that right just make sure so it's going to be minus 0 0.12 that's going to be 0 0.09 now that's in kilometers we want the answer in meters so we can say the distance is 0 0.09 times 1000 and that will be in meters changing from kilometers to meters so you're going to end up with um one two three that's going to be 90 meters so that's the length of the train that's 90 meters that's 120 meters and if it's traveling at that speed that's how long it takes 10 to 7 seconds to completely pass along the station pass through the station all right so there's the answer to that question the issue with this question is the units being incompatible now what i chose to do instead of messing around changing the units of a speed which is a bit more hassle okay i decided to change the other units so that it's compatible so i've got kilometers per hour so this is now i expressing that in kilometers that distance and the time i express in hours so then when i use it in the formula i'm using kilometers hours with kilometers per hour and they're compatible to use but my answer will come out in kilometers multiply by a thousand because there's a thousand kilometers in a meter um a thousand meters sorry in a kilometer and so you multiply by a thousand to give you your answer, which is 90 meters the length of the train. Um, I hope that was clear. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this um, region over here at the end of the, uh, the video. Other questions from this topic of, um, I'm, I'm guessing, that I'll put this with um, travel graphs because that's what it's basically related to, speed, distance, and, and time. So I'll put that under my travel graphs um, you know, uh, section. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And if you want to watch a video that tells you how to use my channel in more efficiently, you can find that, that video by clicking on this link over there. Thank you for watching and see you soon.